had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. And I feel misplaced without you. Why don't we go back to? Why don't we go back to? Never wanted to end. Welcome back to another showcase on my channel guys it is builder bear here uh, before we get started if you could scroll on down click the like button click subscribe and then ring the bell it's gonna keep you up to date on everything I have going on on my channel and then if you could pop on over to Twitter uh, give me a follow on there I showcase myself a little bit more also do giveaways over there I just got done giving away an extra fi um, mouse bungee and large mouse pad I'm going to be doing more of those in the future, so go on over there. You do not want to miss that. But this, we have another Build of the Week showcase. If you guys are wondering why I do these Build of the Week showcases on Walk, uh, basically the builders um, submit these builds that they do, you know, within the week, and then I put them up for a vote, and everybody votes on them. So at the end of the year, uh, we're going to do Build of the Month contests with all the monthly winners for these specific months. And then at the end of the year, all of the Build of the Month winners are going to be competing for the build of the year which does carry a cash prize so it's not too late to get on that guys there's still some time before we do that go on over to walk um, apply to be a builder over here it's an, a phenomenal server uh, Corrales himself started it forever ago you guys don't want to miss out uh, be a part of this that's why I've been doing these videos um, it's a way to just kind of showcase the hard work that these people put in and what better way than this house Check this thing out, this organic modern house by Silly Cat, yeah, Silly Silly Catty, Silly Katcha, I don't know, and, and Dan, H-Z-G, don't know what that stands for either, but Warp Nova 9, World of Corrales, the coordinates are going to be down in the description. Look at this thing, I love, so it's really cool how you have two wings of this house, and you'll kind of see, it looks like it connects fully from this angle. But you'll see that's actually just an entrance way right there. And another really cool feature is the tree that they put right in front of the entrance really does, I don't know, it sinks this thing back into this wonderful landscape that they have going on here uh, with all the spruce trees in Nova 9. And God, check these out. Dude, World of Corrales has some of the best trees uh, I've ever seen, especially using like more default leaf um, textures. And I actually really enjoy the default, the boxy leaf. Uh, really makes it more minecrafty to me i don't hate the servers that do the really really like um super stylized resource packs but i really do like how world of corrales keeps you know the boxy look a little bit and of course they're waving with these wonderful silders extreme shaders that i am using right now a little shout out to them i use them a lot in a lot of my videos um so where do we start i guess i guess let's go up the is there you know i never noticed i guess this is the driveway where do you park? Do you just park right there? There's no driveway to this house. Hmm. You know, didn't think about that. Do you park on the street? Do any of these houses have driveways? I guess none of them have garages. What? What am I missing here? Do you just, do you just park on this little slope right here? I guess you do. Huh. Interesting. Maybe they don't have cars here. Maybe they don't have cars here. All right. Anyway, past the driveway you come up here and you have this massive deck this like entrance deck and it's a really cool way to enter the house because you actually go up and you pass like all the bedroom windows and you know you have this little hangout deck right here this little patio the stairs i like how they're just kind of built in everything is so organic and it flows so smooth in this house uh nothing really just juts out like a sore thumb like this this deck this 
I guess this is a deck. This back deck is just part of the spiral of the house, and that's so cool. And then they didn't put railings on it, which I thought was interesting. It's not like this is a harmful drop. Uh, but, you know, the lack of railings on any of them really kind of help. You know, they don't break it up too much. Really keep the smoothie shape. All right, coming in here, and again, just more of the same. It's all organic, and it even flows around here. And you have these two small statues, I guess. And it all comes around this tree in the middle that, again, really helped to kind of seat this house back, you know, into the landscape. And coming through, awesome front entranceway, I gotta say. You come through, and the house is split so beautifully between, um, like, the bedroom areas back there. And then over here, you have, you know, the main living areas. And it's kind of split with this entrance hall closet. And a really cool design for an entrance hall closet, actually. Uh, looks like there's some, you know, door handles maybe on the side. You can pull them open. Uh, you have places for shoes. You have some drawers. And then some upper shelves. And I like this little hanging lamp feature. All right. And then over here, I'm sure this would collect shoes as well. And whatever else. Probably set a purse there. What a sweet design um, that's just kind of in there. And I like how they didn't they didn't cover that up with anything boxy like a planter. You know, the... Oh, I broke it. <gasps> Don't hate me. All right. They could have brought that all the way over there, but they didn't. And they left, you know, the organic features on the inside. So you could really, really see them and really get a feel for what is going on. Let's see if I can turn my speed down. There we go. All right. Coming through here, let's go to the main living area first. And you come to the dining room. And I don't know. I just really enjoy the subtlety of this house. Uh, it really kind of lets the curves do um create the visual interest on the wall right there's not pictures everywhere there's not a bunch of stuff it's really just the curve of the house really just kind of hugging you um and hugging the occupants and everything's kind of built into the walls and i don't know it really really works for the space uh you have the dining room table over here with the wonderful feature the legs the um the angled legs and then you have that mirrored over here in the kitchen island and it's just really, it's minimalist, but it's so homey at the same time. Uh, and I think that's achieved with the use of the colors. And then, you know, it's very, maybe it's just the colors, I guess you could say. Uh, the floor, like the wood floor really does kind of help ground the whole thing and kind of give it an air of, um, it's, it's not sterile. You know what I mean? A lot of minimalist designs can kind of feel super sterile and this doesn't, this doesn't do that. It achieves the minimalism um, while feeling homey. Really cool kitchen. And again, the cabinets don't go all the way across. It still features the curve of the house. Um, wonderful built-ins. Um, you have the fridge right there. The range with the stove. Little seating cubes right there. And then I thought it was interesting. There isn't a TV. Uh, you just sit around and you enjoy this insane floating fireplace those things are dope if you guys have never seen one of those one of like the circle fireplaces in real life they're pretty cool and i would love one in my house but really cool conversation spot uh really cool just hangout spot and then coming out here of course we saw that deck come out have your morning coffee you know just kind of chill beautiful i love how it's integrated into the house you guys killed it um i'm always interested uh in these collaborations who did what you know what i mean like i want to know who came up with what idea like how did you guys bounce ideas off of each other it'd be really cool i have done me and spout used like we did uh, maybe just one interview uh before with the actual builder and that, that'd be so interesting to like do again so that we can really get the perspective of what people were thinking when they built it and like where their thoughts took them you know maybe how the build kind of flowed what part did they start with all that sort of thing because that really does make you a better builder and designer um but yeah anyway coming down the hall we're gonna go over to maybe the more living area or not living area but like the the private areas of the house and again super open uh obviously it's a little bit more sectioned off because you know there's bedrooms and you have to but check out this whole front foyer area and what a way to achieve that all that natural light coming in really good use of the i'm guessing that's ice for the um no that is gray stained glass pane that is beautiful i love the texture 
of that with the um, with the actual texture pack that we have going on, the resource pack with the shaders, and then that awesome feature on the wall. Just everything over here is so beautifully well done. And then I like how um, they use the trap doors for the wall on the right hand side of this, so it wasn't just all white going down, you know, the hallway. Really well done. And again, use of different textures. Um, this white is different from that white, which kind of is different from the, um, the stone on the walls. It's a really, really, really good use of materials. Come through here is the guest bath, just a little half bath going on. Oh, you can look outside while you do your peas and your poops. Through here is an office, and actually, I was I was sitting here, and my daughter was watching me kind of go through this house before, and we both agreed that I actually want an office like this. It's such like a private space, and I would absolutely love this office. I would have to have a fan because I'm sure I would get hot. But this thing's so dope, dude! Look at the built-ins right there, and just a super effective use of space. A massive desk. Uh, you have all the room you want. That 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 was cool. I like how you guys put that in there. You you needed an office. You had a little bit of space, and you used it. And then, dude, check these out. How did you achieve those? Those look awesome, dude. It looks like they're just like shelves sticking out. What? How did you do that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, through here, laundry room. Looks like you had a little sink area. A uh, little table to fold some clothes on, and of course, you can hold all your cleaning supplies and whatnots there. Those aren't speakers, I promise. It's a washer and dryer. It is. Use your imagination, guys. This is Minecraft. All right, through here, linen closet. It's like a closet within a closet. It's like an inception closet, double inception closet. So you can. That's crazy. It's a walk in linen closet, guys. These people are rich. It was a walk-in linen closet. Oh my goodness. All right, down here, seating area right there by the window and backing it on up into the master bedroom. And this is another interesting piece. The master bedroom is the only place where they have a living room in it, like an actual TV and family room. Um, maybe they're entertaining most of their guests in there. Maybe they don't want people besides them in their house watching uh, TV and the movies. Really interesting design. I do like the coffee table a lot. That's the double tier uh, going on, and it kind of mimics this back here with the entertainment center. Uh, really cool design, and again, more of these with the scaffolding and the trap doors. Just beautiful design, and the whole house is so it fits so effectively. Oh, check this out! Ooh, oh my goodness! Oh, okay. Um. Um. <clears throat> Oh, oh, let's just walk away. Um, I'm so sorry. I broke your phone. Um, my mouse hit up under my keyboard. And what a nice bathroom. Look at this beautiful bathroom, guys. Check this out. It's a bathtub within the shower. Oh, I feel so bad about breaking the phone. Oh, my apologies. Don't don't fire me. Um, I'll buy you a new phone. It'll be okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you let a bear in your house. Really, it's your fault. Stop coming at me, bro. Um, anyway, you have the bathroom in here. A little bathtub within a shower. Kind of cool design. It's a double shower. It's a his and hers and a, th a his and hers and a third. Hmm. Anyway, coming out here is the walk-in closet with a huge mirror. His and hers and a thirds. All right, let's go up the stairs and let's finish the tour with the rest. I'm really scared I'm going to click the button again. I don't want to click the button. <laughs> I wish I could turn it off. I don't want to go in spectator mode because then I can't walk through things. Then I'll be like Casper the Friendly Ghost and just going through walls. But I don't want to be able to break things. I wish I could turn off the ability to break things while I'm doing these, these videos. Oh, there's another phone over there. I don't even want to go over there. All right. All right. Here is another bedroom. This one has an interior balcony. I love balconies. Check this out. This has like a little... You can, you, this is your castle, guys. King of the castle, king of the castle. You are up here watching the guests come in. You can hurl down insults if you're under siege. If if somebody is laying siege to you from the front door, this is where you dump hot tar on them, like the medieval times. It's a thing, I promise. Look at that. You can do that. This is your, this, uh, port, port, porticolis? What are those called? I don't, I'm not good at medieval. I'm not good at 
modern architecture. I'm not good at medieval architecture either. So anyway, that's what that's for. Probably not. Through here, another bedroom. More of the same. I like the use of, again, the um, scaffolding for that. And then a lot of like this carpet with this chair and this little um, ottoman like coffee table deal. It really kind of mimics what we saw in the bedroom immediately below it. They had the, you know, large seating area in their coffee table. It's all tiered. It all fits together so well. I love how you guys have done the beds too. Using the snow blocks, not building them up all the way. Using different levels. Really gives a feel of some beds. Steer clear of the phone. Go in here. And then a walk-in closet and another bathroom. This one I thought was cool because it like back here you had a little alcove. You have some soap, some shampoo bottles in there. Just really, really cool. And all of your neighbors can watch you shower. Who doesn't want that in a house? Who does not want to look out while they're showering over the vastness of their neighborhood? I would love it. Okay, That's what I want in a house. Um, I'm actually looking to buy a house right now and I'm going to tell my realtor that if there's not a window in the shower, no dice. I ain't buying the house, lady. All right. Through here is the last bathroom. One for guests that they can use. And again, window. But this one you're just looking at squirrels. So probably like a group of squirrels watching you shower. It's their loss, honestly. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> what, what do you have down there? What is that in the wall for? Is that in all of the rooms? Have I been missing something again? Have I been missing really cool little features all over the house? I have, look at this. How did they do that? This is a remote? <gasps> These are all outlets, dude? Oh man, I always miss the outlets in the house. Look, look at, there's outlets everywhere. Oh, makes me happy. We first saw this with a, who do we see, Doug Douglas? with a Douglas house and it looks like other people have caught on to doing it um except for this room missing the outlets guys is there one in the siege the siege balcony nope pretty cool design though um getting really off track here this happens a lot don't don't, don't judge me okay don't be judgy mcjudgers in face just watch the videos and subscribe and stuff you know what i'm saying uh awesome house i love the organics of the house really difficult to lay these things out um appropriately i think and you guys did a really good job there um that's dan and silly cat thank you so much for building this thing thanks for letting me tour this thing um it really is kind of it's it's such a cool take on a design for a house um I don't know like i would never have thought about doing this really 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 well done it sits there so well too who like oh man it'd be so hard to make a house like this and make it look like it should be there and this does this looks like it should be on the extreme homes show that they have or like world's world's coolest homes whatever that show is i think it's on netflix this definitely looks like it would be featured on that um, but yeah, guys, that's really, that's all for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. We're getting so close, so close to monetizing our community. That'd be so cool. Um, our watch hours are creeping up there ever so slowly. And I really appreciate you guys for making that happen. Um, come to the server, leave some love, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like, do all that stuff. Until next time, keep putting blocks on other blocks and making awesome stuff.